What is up guys? This is the Twixter. So today we will have a new episode. So this episode is called the Twixter's Love. So this Twixter's Love is a uh, experiment episode or setup episode na itatry natin uh, gumawa ng network or small office or home office na setup. So with some equipments, cheaper equipments kasi wala pa tayong mga bigger equipments or yung magaganda or something na industrial uh, equipment. So we will try the different cheap uh, equipments or setup para at least ma, ma discover or ma experimentahan natin. So in this first episode, we will uh, unbox some uh, tools or equipments and then we will try to uh, set up or i-network natin yung mga devices so ito lang muna yung first uh, scope ng ating first episode and then later on uh, we will have the configurations some testings and more in-depth or more uh, techniques or some uh, new or something na parang ginagamit sa network so yun so ang setup natin ngayon is uh, a will set up a access point access point or yung ating wifi so we will use a router called uh, microtech na hoplite to uh, be an controller or Wi-Fi controller na magkocontrol doon sa mga access or yun sa access point na gagamitin. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. So mag-start na tayo. Here we go. So this is the Microtech Hoplite router board. So Hoplite means home access point light. So it is an ideal little device for apartment, house, or office. So this device is originally came from Lativia. So marami pong features or usage itong uh, router board. So sa baba ng box niya makikita niyo yung simple instruction paano siya uh, i-configure. So later sa next uh, vlog natin so ipapakita natin kung paano yan siya gagawin step by step for now we will focus on the unboxing and uh, yung mga other devices so pag open nyo ng ano ng box so makikita nyo yung router board mismo or yung router so maliit lang siya kasi half light so, ano talaga siya? Bagay siya for home or small office na use. So, may hapat na port siya. May WPS button. Tapos, yung power niya. gawa po siya sa plastic na parang laruan so ito yung WPS or yung mode nya sa taas na pwede nya i-switch to cup or cups man so later i-explain ko yan kung ano yung function nyo so yung kanyang power cord okay din, medyo mahaba So the second one is the access point natin. So this is the access point. It is a uh, ubiquity na unify. So it is powered by a PoE or power over Ethernet. So yan dish or ano siya yung bilog. So power din siya with PoE or power Ethernet. So ito yung PoE. 
Ayan. So, isa is for the the access point and one for the LAN. So, hindi na kailangan ng access point ng power adapter kasi power over ethernet na siya. So, for connecting many devices, so we will use a switch or switch up. So, itong switch up na ito is a TP-Link 8 port router. So, it is ethernet port. And then, for our internet source, we will use the globe. So, yan yung mabibase natin na internet connection. So, ito yung mga devices na kailangan natin para mabuild yung ating simple home or small office na network. So, for our internet service provider, gumamit tayo ng Globe Tattoo. So, imagine natin ito yung ating internet. So, it, it can be DSL, fiber, or yung broadband, yung wireless. So, from this connection, meron tayong LAN at port 1. Atin focus. So, from this port 1, uh, kikonnect natin siya from this uh, microtik na router. So, usually, ginagawa niyan, uh, sa port 1 yan siya sa port 1 yan siya gina, sinasaksak and then mga ISP usually sa port 1 and then sa second port nya uh, may nakaset na dito na explain ko sa inyo on the later episode maybe sa episode 2 yung pag configure natin itong switch for the meantime so, dito siya sa port 2, nakasaksa. So, ito na yung papuntang network. So, i-configure natin tong port 2 na network sa network. Then, connected dyan siya. So, yung kable connected sa isang switch hub. Yan. So, pwede naman siyang direct kung gusto mo na from the AP or success points. Pero, pero gagamit tayo kasi sakaling mag for example, maraming access points or may other devices. For example, PC or other Wi-Fi equipment. So, yan. And then, from this switch. So, naglala naglagay tayo ng connection to the AP. So, itong access point na to is powered by a power over Ethernet or PoE. So, ayan siya. So, yun. So, sa POE na to, alam, focus, focus. So, sa POE na to, so, may POE siya na, sa, na nakadirektang connect sa wireless AP natin. And then, yung sa LAN naman, o pagkukuha niya ng internet, so, nandito sa wireless, ay, nandito sa, sa switch na connect sa network. So, yun yung ating basic na, ano, na setup sa, ano. So, ulitin ko lang from the internet source. Sorry. From the internet source, nakakonek siya, yung connection sa router na magsisilbing Wi-Fi controller or ban yung may features nito na, May bandwidth control, may blockage maging firewall, may hotspot. Marami tong features itong uh, hop light or micro tick. So, ginamit lang natin tong hop light kasi basic pa lang yung ating uh, configuration or setup. So, from this router, na-connect siya sa switch hub na pwede kayong kumabit ng maraming devices like PC, or ano pang networking devices, additional AP, or Wi-Fi. So, from this, connect natin yung ating wireless AP or yung Wi-Fi na ubiquity. So, ito yung ating basic na tools na kailangan. So, yung for the 
patch cord or yung mga networking cable. So, I use a uh, CAT6 na patch cord. Ayan. CAT6 yan. Then, yung kulay blue is CAT5E. So, pwede naman CAT5E lahat kasi mas mura. So, ito last yung available dito sa akin ngayon. So, yan ginamit ko. So, yun guys. Yun yung ating first episode ng The Twixter's Love. So, sana may natutunan kayo na kaidea kayo kung ano yung mga kailangan na or ginagamit ng mga networking equipment to set up a small office or home office na network. So, on the second episode, uh, we will uh, I will teach you or I will discuss to you the Microtech Hoplight na router. Kung anong mga features niya or ginagamit niya or yung mga basic na configurations para ma-set up yun. So, helpful siya usually pag gusto mo talagang uh, yung, configure, yung configured talaga yung router mo. So, dito sa atin, sa Pilipinas, commonly used siya for uh, yung mga internet shops, internet cafes, yung mga piso net, even yung tinatawag nila na piso wifi. So, gumagamit din na ng microtik. So, yun. So, hope uh, may natutunan kayong bago ngayon sa episode. If you like this video, kindly hit like. So, huwag nyo kalimutan to subscribe on my channel para uh, maging updated kayo sa mga new videos or tutorials na gagawin ko. And don't forget to hit the notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe button para ma-alert kayo kaagad or ma-notify ma kayo. So, uh, yung schedule pala nito, hopefully, every uh, once a week, I will post yung ganun, yung episode. So, uh, di-discover natin or magdi-discover tayo ng mga something about networks. So, I myself, uh, yun, nag naglalaro din ako or nag-explore din ako. So, samahan niyo ako sa pag-explore kung ano yung mga features or anong magagandang equipments or gagawin. So, thank you for watching guys. This is the Twixter. I'm out.